So you guys have been hearing that like 343 Industries have been messing up Halo Infinite. And I want to talk about something that I don't think any YouTuber is actually really getting into. Just to get straight to the point, man, the number one thing that is wrong with Halo right now is not actually 343 Industries fault. The main fault actually lies with Microsoft. Because try to remember when Halo was actually good. Halo was actually good when the game was still with Bungie. The last good Halo game that we actually got was Halo Reach. And think about it. What happened? Why isn't Bungie working with Halo anymore? Microsoft doesn't care about its talents. Microsoft doesn't know or doesn't even like understand that the way you get a golden egg is you take care of the golden hen, the golden goose. Bungie was the golden goose, right? Cliff Blazinski from Epic Games when they made Gears of War was the golden goose. The original developer for Crackdown was the golden goose. Problem with Microsoft is Microsoft has too much money. So Microsoft always thinks that it can solve it pro its problems with money. Oh, so Bungie, uh, you know, wants to take a break from Halo. They don't want to work on that game anymore. All right, bet. We're going to take back Halo. We're going to take our ball and go home. We're going to throw money at this brand new studio called 343 Industries. And we're going to like just hire people and make another Halo game. So here's the problem with Microsoft, right? They think all it takes to make another Halo game is just money. As long as you have a lot of money, you set up a studio, you just put anyone as a producer, put anyone as a game designer, put anyone as an artist, you can make another Halo game. It don't work like that, right? See, I don't want to come off as a Sony fanboy right now, but Sony's actually got the shit down pat, right? Sony takes care of its developers. Sony fosters its talents. Sony actually wants to retain, you know, people that made its games great. Look at the God of War franchise, for example. The reason why the recent God of War game is so successful was because they actually took the game director from God of War 2 from all the way back in the day, they pulled him out of retirement and they gave him a really sweet, sweet deal and said like, hey, we're going to make a comeback with God of War. And as long as you're working on this title, it's going to be a success. That is what Sony does, right? Microsoft doesn't do that. When Microsoft has a successful franchise like Halo, Gears of War, Crackdown, they don't think it was because of a couple of guys sitting in an office that came up with the idea. They caught lightning in the bottle. It was that chemistry they have in the original Bungie team, the original Epic Studio that came up with amazing games like Halo and Gears of War. What Microsoft thinks it, it's, it should do is like they should just keep throwing money. Oh, you don't want to work on this game? All right, cool. We don't need you. We don't need you. Microsoft have the, the best resources out there in the business right now but they're not allocating it right because they're not keeping their talent look at why like 343 industries isn't doing it with halo infinite and the simple fact is because they don't have the talent right they have a lot of time they have five years six years to work on that game they have an entire year to come up with content for halo infinite and look what they did nothing right because they don't know what the fans want and I'm going to tell you the second thing, right? All right. The first thing they don't care about is they don't care about the developers. The second thing is they don't respect the game. Look at what 343 Industries is doing with Halo Infinite. They, are, they apologize that they're removing split screen, right? When they pump out the game, they didn't even have Forge. They didn't even have a Slayer playlist. How are you going to make a Halo game and not have a Slayer playlist? And the simple fact of the matter is, whenever Microsoft gets a new studio to work on their like legacy titles, they get studios that do not respect the title, right? A lot of times when you get like a new studio to work on like a, a legacy title like Halo or Crackdown, the new developer wants to do their own shit. They want to put their own imprint on the game. They want to like come up with something that will get them their respect. They're not going to look back at the older games and see what works, you know, what the fans want, right? So the problem with like Microsoft is like, 
number one, they do not keep the golden goose, right? They let Bungie just go off and make, you know, destiny, right? They don't keep the original talent, which makes the game great. The second thing is they don't put some respect on the game of what makes it great. So any new developer working on the sequel of the game that you love, they are not going to look back at the old games. Look at what Saints Row did. Saints Row is horrible. If you play Saints Row 2022, you're stupid. No offense. Like, the developers, they don't care about what makes Saints Row great. Right? Here's like a great game that has like all the winning formula of what people want. Right? All you have to do is just replicate what the game was great for. Right? Just play the original game. Write it down. What, what do you like about it and what other people like about it? And all you have to do is replicate it and then put some of your own stuff as cherry on top to, if you want to like, you know, put your imprint on the game, but they don't do that. So I'm going to like just summarize this real quick, man. The thing about what is making Halo Infinite mess up is not necessarily 343. It's Microsoft. Microsoft was the one that put 343 in charge. Microsoft was responsible for the hiring process of the people that work for 343, right? They hire people that number one, do not like Halo. There's an article out there saying that 343 Industries actually hire people based on the fact that they hate Halo because they don't want to be like Halo. They want to be like every other game out there like COD, Modern Warfare or battlefield whatever right they don't remember what makes halo great which was the fact that it was a party game microsoft doesn't know what makes games great and what makes games great are people right the original people that came up with the idea for halo halo one two three get those guys right give them an offer treat them well give them time off let them work on other projects. Don't burn them out. You know, build a studio for them. And they'll always make sure you have that golden egg. But Microsoft is so willing to kill the golden goose because they think they can buy another golden goose or they can buy another golden egg with money. That's why Microsoft is only good for spending their billions of dollars acquiring titles, acquiring franchises, but they don't actually spend that amount of money into developing the people that makes their games great. So everyone that is like writing hashtag fired 343 industries, you're not wrong, but you don't see the bigger picture. The bigger picture is the real person behind the scenes that is screwing up everything is Microsoft. And the reason why they're screwing up is because they're too rich right? They can throw money at a problem and hopefully make it go away. But that's not how you make a good game. They got to take a page out of Sony's book, out of Nintendo's book of how they treat their developers, how they treat their golden gooses and how they will like lay out even more golden eggs. And I'm going to talk next about my solution for this. And that's going to be the next video. So if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I would really appreciate it.